So we've just had the massive upset at the US Open, the biggest upset on the men's side so far. The two-time champion of this year at Grand Slams, Carlos Alcaraz, going out in the second round of Van der Zandtrup in straight sets. Let's go have a look at what they both had to say after the match because Alcaraz did have some very interesting insights into why he might have lost. So this is what Alcaraz had to say when he was asked about the scheduling of the French Open, Wimbledon, and the Olympics coming to this tournament and his preparations. He said, probably, yeah, the schedule is so tight. I've been playing a lot of matches lately with Roland Garros, Wimbledon, Olympics. I took a little break after the Olympics. I thought it was enough. It was really helpful for me. Probably it wasn't enough. I came here without as much energy as I thought I was going to come in with, but I don't want to use that as an excuse, but it's so tight. I'm a player who needs more days or more of a break coming into the big tournaments and important ones. I have to think about about it and learn about it let's see this is what van der Zandtru actually said after the match straight away he said actually i'm a little lost for words it's been an incredible evening first time for me having a night session on arthur ash the crowd was amazing thank you for that unbelievable night he then went on to say i got a lot of confidence from the last match which was in shapovalov I played really solid the last match. From point one, I believed I had could have a chance. You see how it sometimes turns out. So there you have it, the reaction from both players post-match. It's a wild time in tennis right now. I mean, the last two weeks have just been crazy on and off the court. And now we've, get, we've gotten Elkers losing in the second round of a slam, which is unheard of, especially this year. But let me know down in the comments below. What does Elkers need to do next, next to get better? I mean, we thought he was at the peak. We thought he was... Absolutely flying at Wimbledon, he was, but he's had a bit of a letdown here, and for some reason, it seems like on hard courts this year, he struggled the most. I mean, he did win Indian Wells, Miami was a struggle, Australian Open was a struggle, he struggled here. Do you think it was just because of the Olympics? Maybe the Olympics distracted him from winning this tournament? Be interested to see how Djokovic goes over the next couple of weeks as well, because he did obviously play the Olympics and do well there. So there it is, there's the reaction from both players after the biggest shock of the tournament so far.